Welcome back to episode two of the Real Betis save here on Football Manager 2021. We've done some deals and we've got two games to play. Before all of that though, let's run the intro. So before we look at anyone who has come into the club, let's start by looking at who's gone out. Borja Iglesias has left to Villarreal for 12 million. Not a terrible player, but I just don't think that he was good enough really for what we're looking to do to get into Europe. I don't think he's the type of player that could really get us there. 12 million pounds from Villarreal, good money, so we've let him go. We've had to let Guido Rodriguez go as well. He's out on loan to Man City. As much as he is a good player, chances are he wouldn't have played for us and we had to get rid of him due to the non-EU ruling in the La Liga. So for those of you that don't know, you can only register three players that are non-EU. And based on one of the players that we brought in, we had to get rid of Rodriguez. So he's on his way to Man City. Alex Moreno, a left back, left winger, not good enough. He's gone to Levante for about 2.5 million. Wan Mi as well. He's gone out to Newcastle. 11 million pounds for him. Again, a player that really wouldn't have got a game for us. Quite happy to get the money in for him. And that has helped fund quite a few of the transfers that we've brought in. So on to the ins then. And the first player in is Alberto Moreno. We talked about it at the end of the last episode. I wasn't entirely sure. But we needed somebody at left back and I think that he can do a job. I am concerned defensively. I don't think he's a great player. But hopefully going forward he can create a few chances for us. Romario Barro has come in on loan. He's just a young player who's obviously got quite a lot of potential. He's just going to provide cover in central midfield. 20 years old, Portugal, under 21 in the international, coming in from Porto. I think he can do a job. He's got some decent stats. He's well-rounded. He'll probably develop throughout the season, I would have thought, if he gets any games. The first big transfer then, Dominic Livakovic has come in. New goalkeeper was needed. Claudio Bravo also signed this summer, not by us, but he was already signed when we joined the club. A player that most people who play football manager will be aware of. He's a very good player, well-rounded as a goalkeeper. He's got good reflexes, good throwing, good one-on-ones. I think he'll be a good signing for us. Five million up front. And 5 million after 50 games. Okay, so in terms of strikers, then we've brought two players in. This is the first one. Kyle Jorge comes in from Santos. Wonder kid on the game. 18 years of age. Brazilian. He's already got pretty good stats in that position. Pressing forward as well, which is what we're looking to play. Can he score goals at this level? He's never had to do it before. It's going to be a big question mark on him. It's something that we'll have to keep an eye on throughout the season but 14 finishing 14 composure first touch not bad concentration is good as well so he can definitely do a job whether he's ready straight away we don't know but that's why we've brought in this second person so former liverpool legend daniel studdage has come into the club on a free transfer let's forget about the physicals for the time being but if you look at his mental attributes and his technical attributes he's still a world-class player 15 finishing 16 composure he is losing his pace a little bit. He'll probably only be good enough for us for one season. We've, we've brought him in on a two-year contract. I still think he'll score goals. I think we'll get proven right with this one. He's an exciting signing. He's still an upgrade on what we had at the club when we came in, so we can't really complain about that. That brings us then to the first game of the episode. Real Betis against Athletic Bilbao. And here is how we're going to line up. So Emerson at right back. Bartra, Ruiz and Moreno across the back four. Livakovic in goal. Carvalho is going to play as a ball winning midfielder. Sergio Canales as a Mazzala in the middle. And then we've got Fakia in attacking midfield. Joaquin on the right. Teo on the left. And Kyo George will be the one to start up front. So here we go then, Real Betis against Athletic Bilbao, quite a tough game this one, but it's nice to play the first game at home, next game up against Barcelona away from home, now but Fakir, oh what a start that is, Fakir smashing it in past the goalkeeper, lovely free kick, looks like this could be a chance, well it's going to be a chance for us hopefully, Barcher pumps it forward, here's Danny Gomez, Danny Gomez, 
Here's Raul Garcia. Slips it into Munyane. Oh. I don't know why Livakovic is standing on the edge of his own six yard box there. We'll see it again. Danny Garcia into his brother Raul. Flick to Munyane. Ah, he's chipped the keeper. Come on now. Emerson taking his throw in. Canales, can he build something? He's gone for a shot straight away. Here come Bilbao. Raul Garcia. We need to stop the attack. Williams. Oh, no. Livakovic there coming to the rescue. I don't know what the defence is doing. Yuri's throw in to Munye. Oh. Well, that was 10 million well spent. Livakovic has made two two kind of mistakes. I mean, the second one's definitely a mistake. Why is he punched this straight out? Catch the ball. Canales on to Carvalho. Can we build something from the back? Ruiz to Teo. Teo on his right foot. Joaquin! Oh, oh nice, Simon. Half-time whistle then, and work to do. Betis taking the lead through Naby Fakir, but two goals from Athletic Bilbao. Both mistakes by the goalkeeper as well. It's a bit early in the season to start getting angry. Alberto Moreno demotivated. Of course he is. Right, two changes for the second half then. Diego Lainez is coming out on the right-hand side. We're going to go to an inside forward there, and we're going to start overlapping on the right as well as the left. And we've brought on Daniel Sturridge up front. If we can get the ball into the box, if we're going to go a little bit more attacking. If we can get the ball into the box, I'm sure if a chance falls his way, he's going to take it. Demand more from the entire team. Nothing happening in the first 20 minutes. And the first chance is for Bill Bow. A little bit typical, that. Here's Ben and Gouet. Dan, the right-hand side, plays it to Copper. Good defending. Chance to break for Kia. Sturridge holds it up well. Lainez. Cuts it back to Canales. Here's for Kia. For Kia. On to Teo. Can he shoot? Lainez. Oh. He's offside. It was a nice move. Oh, let's just end the highlight. Moreno. That's the fourth time I've seen a throw in thrown straight to them. Here's Williams. And I see Mon will catch it, and that will probably be that. Good ball there for Moreno. Tayo, do something. Ball in, Romario! Well, this lad was only supposed to be a, a bit part player. He's come off the bench, and he's got a point for us. In the 92nd minute, Tayo looks pretty uninterested in the ball, but he does pick it up, crosses it in. And Romario Barro from the edge of the box with the header. Top bins. Can we hold on to a 2 2 draw? I'll take that considering the way the game's gone. Good save, Livakovic. And that will do us. Batiste 2, Bilbao 2. It is only a draw, but we'll take that considering we were struggling in that game. If you look at the XG as well, Bilbao 1.59. Second half, we were better. Something to build on. The next game, of course, is Barcelona. Okay, we're going to go straight into the next game because we haven't made any transfers yet, but we are looking at bringing in a central midfielder. couple of changes for this one. We're going to start Daniel Sturridge up front as a poacher. That's exactly what he wants to do. So hopefully he can make an influence for us. And the man who saved us last time, Romario Barro, will get the start today as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's not the best option that we've got in central midfield. But I feel like we need a box-to-box -box midfielder. I don't think a ball-winning midfielder will work. We've changed a couple of things in terms of the way that the team line up with the tactics and everything. But let's just see how we can get on in this one. It's Barcelona away. Let's not embarrass ourselves. If we can keep it to a reasonable scoreline, I'll be happy with that. We can move on to the next game. Here we go then at the new Camp. Barcelona against Real Betis. It's a tough one. This man, Leo Messi, on the ball now is going to be a big problem for us with the throw in. Teo up against his former club. Here's Danny Sturridge. Teo again. 
you you just can't do that. You can't do that. Oh, so I've been saved by the post there. Six minutes in, and it's been an exciting start, to be fair. Is Mandy. Canales. Looks for Romario, but he gives it straight to De Jong. He's going to run at the defence. Griezmann. Here's Coutinho. Into the box. Good save, but Griezmann turns it in. And inside 10 minutes, Barcelona have the lead. And that's what we were worried about. Moreno. Straight to De Jong. Why can't we do throw-ins? Coutinho. On to Messi. Going to be 2 0. Yeah. That's all from a throw in. Because Moreno thinks that it's fine to just throw it straight to their players. Leo Messi. Half the post. Coutinho's in. But it will be offside. Oh, this could be a cricket score by the end of this one. Oh, no. The corner came in, we dealt with it, and then it comes straight back in and Coutinho was unmarked. Smallest man on the pitch, scoring a header, it's criminal defending. Right, we've gone as defensive as we can do for the second half. Honestly, like the chances that Barcelona have had in that first half, we've just, we've just folded. As soon as they scored that goal early, that was it. Game over. Barcelona away, let's not embarrass ourselves. Albert, well, he's not managed to throw it to his own player. Well done. Ah, oh, Joaquin, come on. Need a better touch there. Albert, Griezmann, Coutinho, Jordi Albert. <laughs> and Leo Messi makes it 4 0. Three changes then Carvalho, Linares, and Kyle George coming on. <laughs> We've been battered here. We've been absolutely battered. 21 shots, 11 on target for Barca. We've had two shots. Fakir's cross. Teo. Good save by Neto. Nice football from Barcelona, as expected. Antu Fati. Jordi Alba. Fati in the box. Pulls it across. Messi hat trick. And Barcelona have absolutely destroyed Betis here. Well. <laughs> We wanted to keep it respectable and it wasn't. Barcelona 5, Betis 0. Let's not panic. We were never expected to beat Barcelona, but we did get battered. Right then, we've made the signing. Gaetano Castrovilli has come in from Fiorentina. He has cost 14.25 million, which is, I think it's a good price for the player. I think he's a good player, but we've given him a huge contract, 83 grand a week. We're hoping that this guy is the answer to all of our problems in central midfield. He's only 23 years old, the Italian. He has had a cap for the for his country as well. So, obviously, he's a good player, unless you're Roy Keane, of course. Fakir is injured for this one. We're going to play a third game. We were only going to play two, but we're going to get the third game played and hopefully get ourselves a win. So, Castrovilli comes in. He'll play alongside Canales in the midfield. And Guardado has come in at attacker midfield to play in front of Nabi Fakir, who is injured. I'm also going to play Kyle Jorge, or Kyle George, whatever you want to call him. We're going to play him up front. I don't think Daniel Sturridge has got the legs, really, to be starting. Here we go, then. Batiste against Osasuna. Can we get our first win as Batiste manager? So, a big day for Batiste, then. Our second home game. We've got a draw and a defeat to our name in the first two games this season. Can we do something today? Here's Teo. Finds Canales. Canales, long range shot just wide. Good start from Batiste. Here's Guadardo. Getting a rare appearance for him. Mark Bartra. Over to Emerson. Back in the team today. Here's Joaquin. And he cross it. And he makes something happen on that right hand side. Pulls it back for Canales. Joaquin again. Emerson's ball in. Kyle Hogge! With his first goal for Real Batiste. We don't know his name, but we love this lad. 18 years of age, Brazilian wonder kid. How important could he be this season? Well, if he keeps doing that, I would suggest very. Betis 1, Osasuna 0. Nothing else is happening. Moreno throws it to Guardado. Well done, Moreno. Getting his throw into one of our players. 
And what a difference that could make. Guadardo, Castrovilli on his debut. Canales finds Moreno. Loves to cross it from here. Absolutely loves to. Good ball in. Canales is there. And Sergio Canales gives Matisse a 2 0 lead against Osasuna. And this is exactly what we needed today. We needed to score a couple of goals and get a win. Teo switching the play to Joaquin. Joaquin still full of running at 39. What a player. Ball in. Castrovilli. Guardado. Moreno. Castrovilli again. Can he cross it? Finds Guardado. Come on, let's make something happen. Emerson. Driving with it. Good ball in, Joaquin. Oh. Tell you what, Joaquin's had three really good chances across the two games. Well, across the three games, and he's missed all of them. That's not great to see, is it? Johnny. Don't let Johnny run in. Toro. Vidal. Oh. Also, soon I should be back in it, but at half time it's 2 0. And as you can see, it's been all Real Betis. Really good first half. You can see as well how penned back Osasuna are. If you look at the average positions at the bottom left of your screen, look how much we've been all over them. Right, you've played well so far, but there is still room for improvement. Why is Moreno always someone who reacts? No matter what, Moreno's got something to say. Free kick, Canales. Batcher in there. Good save, keep it. Just holding on to the ball, just controlling the play. It's looking really good. Teo's ball across. Guadardo right into the face of the goalkeeper. That one is going to sting. But there is the final whistle. And Real Betis have their first win of the season. Canales with a 7.7. .7. Outstanding performance from him. Kyle George with the goal. Canales with a goal as well. And Livakovic with man of the match in goal. I think that's a little bit silly isn't it okay so that's going to wrap things up for today's episode when we come back let's have a look at the fixtures it's difficult really to know who we're going to be battling against at this early stage in the season but as we can see with the barcelona results it's probably not going to be barcelona atletico or real i think we'll come back in november so if we come back at the end of november we've got two games there hatafe and elche both of those games are winnable games. We should expect to win those games. So I'll see you back then for two defeats, no doubt. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please smash the like button. If you're not already subscribed, make sure that you are for the next one. And I will see you very soon. Up the Betis, up the Skolo. Thank you for being here.